welcome to our dome sweet dome. Here it is, the chrome dome as we also call it sometimes. It's got totally reflective on one side. Got a bucket on top, just in case. It's actually just a little chimney, but we can close it down whenever we want. We're gonna, we're gonna make it so it's all multicolored and looks like some sort of Mr. Poppet bucket. Anyway, let's go, let's go look inside the other side of the dome. This year's Burn in the Forest was renamed Burn on the Fraser and took place in a new location on the Fraser River near Agassiz, British Columbia. Everyone was a little bit nervous about the new space at first, especially because we were leaving the beautiful Squamish Valley River, but it turned out to be an amazing new location. As usual, the music and art at the event was incomparable. The DJs, music, and beautiful people all came together and combined to create a magical experience. A true Midsummer Night's Dream. The crew at Puck's Palace did an amazing job of lighting and decorating and keeping us dancing. Their ultra stealth Wi-Fi headphones keeping the dance party going all night long. Although we weren't able to burn the effigy this year due to a high fire risk, we are still provided an amazing show by the fire dancers and some incredible pyrotechnics safely out in the sandbar. And the party goes on and on, with electronic music and live music at Synergy, with hundreds of colorful, illuminated, amazing participants making the event their own. Across the site, interactive and illuminated sculptures are everywhere. One of my highlights was the mushroom camp from Portland, Oregon. The mushrooms were all wired up and when you stroke or massage them, they responded with beautiful tones and sounds and soothing music. That was fantastic. <laughs> anyway, nothing I could really show you or tell you could really describe the love and creativity expressed at these festivals, or even give you a sense of the scale of these events. There's simply too much going on to capture it all. Burn on the Fraser, having risen from the ashes of Burn in the Forest, is a phoenix. Every participant goes home exhausted yet refreshed. Thank you to everyone from the GVIAS and all those who participated and made it possible. It's a lot of work taking down these domes in the heat. That's the outside frame and this over here is the big floor mat. And over there is all our stuff, all of the field. <laughs>